It's like 10 o'clock at night. He meets me at this house. We're chatting and all of a sudden his pants, no kidding, his pants fell to the ground. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tyler Jensen. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. I've been flipping houses for a long time, since 2008. Uh, I've flipped hundreds of houses. I've dealt with a ton of different contractors and uh, I have good stories and I have bad stories for sure about contractors. So one of the, the bad stories, I guess, uh, was a contractor that I worked with. He was uh, just a, a totally just terrible person overall and so I'll, I'll dive into a little bit about that story so we were flipping a house uh, really close to my house and we hired this guy to be a contractor he told us he was licensed insured all of those things and so we said great like show us your license number he gave us a license number and we were good to go just through the whole process there were just weird things that kept happening one of my first weird things is that i, I think this guy was on drugs but we were talking we were meeting at the house we we're going over it was kind of late at night because he was supposed to get some stuff done and he hadn't so i said hey i need you to meet me at this property it's not going very well and we need to meet so we met it here it's like 10 o'clock at night he meets me at this house we're chatting and him and i are just talking in the family room of this house and all of a sudden his pants, no kidding, his pants fell to the ground. I don't know if his belt gave out or what happened, but his pants fell to the ground and he stood there and looked at me and pulled his pants back up. It was one of the most awkward conversations that I've ever had. We're talking business and his pants just fell down and then it just got worse from there. So uh, he had these cabinets. He's like, hey, I have these really great cabinets uh, that I've already purchased. I'd love to just use those cabinets in this flip if you're okay with that. We said, yeah, sure, brand new cabinets. We think that's great, that's what we wanna use. If you've already got them uh, and they'll fit for this kitchen, we'd love to do that. So a couple days later, he shows up with these cabinets that were from the 1950s that he had pulled out of another flip that he was doing and tried to paint them and even had the hardware on crooked. So he put new hardware on them that wasn't straight and he also had, they were old cabinets. We weren't stupid, we knew that they were old cabinets, old hinges, and he goes to try and set these in my my flip and I told him I'm like dude these cabinets are not gonna fly like you told me they were new cabinets he's like well they are new cabinets they're new to this house and I'm like bro like they're used cabinets I'm not taking used cabinets and you didn't even put the handles on straight like we're not using these cabinets and he's like well I can't take them back I'm not Home Depot and I'm like what do you mean you can't take them back they're used cabinets you pull these out of some lady's house that you're doing on another flip so that was one instance and then another instance he's like hey i've got this flooring i've already paid for it it's just leftovers from another job i'd love to just use it in your house i was like okay cool we don't we don't mind the flooring it was this really nice big tile this uh like 24 inch tile or maybe it was like 36 inch tile and he's like hey let me just throw this in your house i'll give you a really good deal on it uh, no worry. So we're like, okay, great. We paid for the tile. He comes and installs it. And uh, through a, a different conversation and through a couple other contractors, they're like, hey, this guy was supposed to do a tile job for another, uh, another customer and he never showed up. They paid for the tile. He didn't ever come and do this tile job. So sure enough, we, in a roundabout way, I call this customer and I say, hey, I just need you guys to come over to my house and make sure that this isn't your tile. Would you just do that? So the guy, him and his wife come over and he's like, oh my gosh, this is the tile that we've paid for. He was supposed to come and install it. We haven't heard from him in months and we've already paid for this tile. He had this tile paid for twice. I paid for it and, and this other homeowner paid for this tile. And so after that, that was kind of the last straw from us. Uh, we had already given him a deposit. Those were in the days that I didn't really know what I was doing. So we had given him this deposit to finish all this work. He never showed up. We lost out on that deposit. He kind of just left. We ended up suing him. It was a long process and a lot of life points to go through that, but just a terrible, terrible experience. Come to find out he wasn't licensed. That wasn't his license number. He wasn't insured. He had stolen that license number from somebody else. All sorts of crazy stuff happened with this guy. All the things that could go wrong on this flip did and went wrong, but it was a great lesson lesson learned of what not to do when working with contractors and a, a great lesson of like okay now that I've done I've done everything wrong I feel like I can make some things right and make sure that we do it right next time.